Well, a stark warning from Iran, where authorities fear millions could die from the new coronavirus outbreak. An Iranian journalist, who is also a medical doctor, issued the dire warning on state television this week, urging the public to stay home and obey the health guidelines. The Islamic Republic has been scrambling to contain the virus, which has so far infected more than 17,000 people and killed over 1,100. 147 people died in just the last 24 hours in Iran. On Tuesday, Iran's Supreme Leader issued a religious ruling prohibiting unnecessary travel in the country. Joining me now with more on the situation in Iran is Dr. Mike Ansari, director of Mohabbat TV, one of the largest Christian satellite channels beaming the gospel into the Islamic country. And Mike, roughly nine out of 10 cases of the virus in the Middle East are coming from Iran. How, how bad is the situation there and, and why, why Iran right now? Well, people in Iran are dying, said one of our contacts uh, in Iran just a few hours ago. Nobody knows uh, who is in charge in Iran. All the leaders are hiding. Uh, some have even died. Uh, there's a gross governmental mismanagement at all levels. Uh, crowds last Friday stormed into the courtyards of the Mashats, Imam Reza Shrine and Qums, uh, Fatima Masum Shrine. Crowds typically pray there 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, touching and kissing the shrine. That's worried the health officials, who for weeks are ordering Iranian Shiite clergy to close the shrines. However, uh, there is uh, there is a tug of war between the governmental uh, government and the and the clergy. Clergy are basically saying that no, we are not going to go ahead and close the shrines, and that's the place where people are going to be healed. Therefore, in Iran, there is a tug of war. A lot of people are outside. Iran remains at the epicenter of the coronavirus in Middle East. You know, why why do you think uh, of all the places in the Middle East? Iran is the ep epicenter. Why do you think so? Well, early on, when the uh, majority of the uh, governments and, and nations uh, closed their borders to, the, to travel to China, Iran remained uh, open and kept its borders open to China. Uh, well into uh, three or four weeks into coronavirus um, uh, in, in China, Iran still had travelers going back and forth. Uh, Iranian authorities even got on TV and said, we do not believe in quarantine. That is something of the of the old ages, of dark ages. It, it no longer is necessary. This tug of war between Iranian officials unfortunately allowed for Iranian health uh, ministers not to be able to enforce proper uh, measures in place. And unfortunately, we've seen a huge, huge rise in the number of cases in Iran. And there's prediction that by the time this uh, entire ordeal is done, Millions of Iranians may perish as a result of coronavirus. Mm. You've obtained video from inside the country showing people out on the streets celebrating Iran's New Year despite warnings from the government to stay home. Tell us about the video. This video is only from a few hours ago. No one is listening to the quarantine. People are still out because the government basically has made a recommendation for quarantine. Salons, gyms, stores are all open because of Persian New Year. We urge Iranian people to stay at home and practice social distancing at all costs. This is Tehran, Iran. People are dying because of coronavirus, because of, of, of government quarantine. The government has only made a recommendation for people to stay home. Unfortunately, people are still out on the street doing their Persian New Year shopping. While the officials are in hiding, pray for Iran, pray for the underground shares, and pray for God. Mercy on Iran. Again, we want to urge all the Iranian people to please stay at home, practice social distancing at all costs, and, and be safe. Dr. Ansari, Mohabat TV is broadcasting special coronavirus program, programs. Tell us about these. The focus is to uh, focus on light in uncertainty and faith in volatility. Uh, Christians in Iran are passing out hand sanitizers. Um, all the house church leaders that we are in touch with are evangelizing and will not basically going on the street and serving people. Home groups are all canceled, so they're meeting on Zoom. Uh, but our message uh, has been through social media, through virtual church, through satellite TV programs, beam on satellite TV into Iran, praying with Iranian people, Christians, Muslims, Baha'is, Sunnis, Shiites. We pray with all of them, giving them the message of hope. Remember, Iran is being hit dramatically and there is hopelessness in Iran, especially after Iran started with uh, the, the year with the uh, assassination of Mr. Soleimani, 
and then with the Ukrainian airline being shut down and then being, uh, people being marginalized. Iran has been going through a very, very difficult time, and we're trying to beam the message of hope for the people of Iran. Mike, please say a quick prayer right now for Iran, for America, and those dealing with the coronavirus. Absolutely. Um, today, when we talked to some of the people, Iranian people, uh, Christians in Iran, they said, please pray Psalm 91 for us. So, Father, we pray uh, for your blessing, for your protection over Iran and Iranian authorities and Iranian people. And God, the, the entire region is going through a difficult challenge. The entire globe is going through a difficult challenge. But we pray, Lord, for Iran, especially because there seems to be so much confusion and chaos. Father, we pray for your mercy and your glory and your be healing be upon Iran, Iranian people, and the people around the world. Amen. Amen. All right, Dr. Mike Ansari, thank you so much for being with us, and God bless you and your family, and, of course, God bless Iran. Thank you. Well, stay with us for the latest on the coronavirus as we provide updates on the CBN News Channel and right here um, on CBN.com.